I've kind of built up a lab at my house and I've learned a lot uh, online through textbooks and I've kind of made my own self-made hobby of home chemistry. I'm going to be doing a reaction where I have this bottle here and um, the solution will be clear except when I shake it, it turns blue. It stays blue for a few seconds and then turns back to clear. Um, there's a whole lot of science going on there. Okay, so how this works is into this flask here I add sodium hydroxide and glucose in solution and that makes a reducing solution. And then I add this dye called methylene blue. And methylene blue is a dye that will turn between blue and white depending on whether or not the solution is reducing or not. So when I add that and I shake it up, it becomes oxidizing, turns blue, and if I let it sit, it'll go back to being reducing and turn clear again. All right, now that I've added the dye to the solution, I'm gonna get it all mixed in and we'll see it go blue for a little bit. And now, get it all dissolved in there. Now if I just let it sit still for a while, We'll see it go clear. There it goes. I had to get the right concentration of sodium hydroxide. So yeah, so now the um, methylene blue, which is that dye, has been turned into the colorless species, as we call it. And then when I shake it and make the solution oxidizing, go back to being blue. And this can be repeated uh, for quite a while.